Okay, this one, heads. This one, tails. All right. I'm kind of moving this around in my hand, and it is tails. So, we're going to find out about the status of women in Islam. Wow, save it to terrorism for last. All right, well, I'm doing them all, it doesn't matter. next all right the status of women <coughs> in islam <clears throat> in the name of allah the most gracious the most merciful the rights and responsibilities of women are equal to those of men but they are not necessarily identical this difference is understandable because men and women are different in their psychology and their physiological makeup. That's really interesting. Worthy of much research. The status of women in Islam is an issue that is pertinent in present times both due to the divergence of cultural practices in the Muslim world from the Islamic perspective. Yeah, that's true. They all kind of had their own little thing they got going on. <sighs> and the erroneous perception of the West that Islam subjugates women folk. Well, let me respond so that us Yankee Westerners don't all look like monsters. <laughs> we don't intentionally misunderstand anybody, I don't think. I don't. But, you know, you'd see it. Uh, not just Islam, but I mean, you know, you see cultures where the women have to walk behind the men. Uh, you know, and that the rules are... It's a burden, and the rules are just really overbalanced. And, um, you know, I can, I remember all the uh, things I saw on TV, of, you know, where the Taliban is, like, whipping women, you know, for not being modest enough. And, you know, and in uh, Saudi Arabia, they're, like, stoning women to death. Still, it seems kind of shitty. You know, I mean, yeah, I wouldn't say equal at all, personally. I would say different. Uh, but obviously, I'm a Yankee, and I just don't understand. A dispassionate study of the primary sources of Islam, along with an, an analysis of the position of women in society where, where Islam was Implemented. That's a nice way of putting it. Implemented. Actually proves that for women, Islam is a special blessing. Oh, nice. Wonderful for them. Yeah. Prior to Islam, write the Authors of the Cultural Atlas of Islam, a woman was regarded by her parents as a threat to family honor and hence worthy of brutal al uh, burial alive at infancy. Yeah, I, I, I'm well aware of that. Even like the Romans used to like, what? Oh, no. Uh-uh. <laughs> it's terrible. Barbaric, primitive. Fortunately, we've moved on in many places of the world from there. Then, anyway, as an adult, she was a sex object that could be bought, sold, and inherited. 
True. Lots of people could have been bought and owned and inherited. It was barbaric back then. <laughs> they should have known better, but they were just like, hey, everybody's doing it to everybody and no one's listening, so fuck it. I'm, I'm getting in on the problem instead of trying to solve it. And who could do otherwise, right? Back then. Oh, from the position of inferiority and legal incapacity, Islam raised women to the position of influence and prestige in family and society. Remind me again, in Saudi Arabia, how much does a woman's vote for count for? I know they're letting, letting them drive finally. That's big of them. I mean, just wondering, you know, isn't it like something like a third or a fourth of a man's? The rights and responsibilities of women are equal to those of men, but they are not necessarily identical. Yeah, they're saying it that very same thing again. This difference is understandable because men and women are different in their I see, that was the caption above. So we're repeating that. Uh, I'll skip ahead. With this distinction in mind, there is no room for a Muslim to imagine that women are inferior to men. Thus, thus it is perhaps more apt to refer to the Islamic approach on gender relations as one of equity rather than the commonly used word equality. I see. Well, okay, I, I see your point now. <sighs> Which could be misunderstood to mean equality in every minute aspect of life, rather than overall equality. So that's the end of that little section, and I think I'll stop there so we can all digest this. Anyway, what do you think? So far, so good? Um, what do you think? Just chime in if you want. Say what you want. It's cool. Let me know if you learned anything. I'm still kind of uh, working on it. But anyway, yeah, I'd like to hear back, you know, so. Peace.